Hey, what's up? Robin Corinne here. Welcome to Threadheads. This week we're hanging out at the third annual Bust Holiday Craftacular. And I must say, it's pretty fantacular. <laughs> This is the Bus Magazine Holiday Craftacular. We are at the Metropolitan Pavilion with over 200 of the best, unique, craftiest vendors uh, we could find. Amy Sedaris is signing books and selling her own crafty wares. We have DJs, we have a photo booth, all kinds of stuff. It's all happening at the Craftacular. We're really excited and yeah. Wow, it's like you've said that before. <laughs> a couple of times. My name is Annie Hallelob. I'm one of the co-founders of the Board Housewives Crafts Collective. The line that I brought with me today comes from my Dirty Pillows line, which is entirely inappropriate home accessories. I do pillows that say things like whore and <laughs> other things you may not find on your grandmother's sofa. There's a whole lot of shopping going on. We're going to see what everybody's buying. Come on. We purchased a, a weighted mushroom from Swig Products back there. I bought this really, really cute shirt. Maybe I'm going to like wear this t-shirt to like when I go to a really uh, sandwich store, you know, with a big line and I never can get a sandwich. Maybe I wear this. <laughs> what, what do we got? I got this lovely little purse. My friend is a painter, so it's like for a painter kind of like kid thing. But it's like an eye pillow thing. It's lavender. Melissa watched us on the train on her iPod on the way over here. It's a habit. Well, it's an addiction. <laughs> From Mr. Poncho, I got this fabulous iPod holder, which is going to be the new home of my Threadbanger podcasts. Oh, yeah. It has this little thing where you wrap your cord for your headphones around it. That's really awesome. My name is Chanel, and I'm from JunkPrints.com, and these are my goodies right here. I get my inspiration from thrift stores, vintage stuff, the trash. You're doing what you want to do, and you're driven by motivation, not by like a deadline or the bottom line or some naggy boss or something like that. Waiting to get the book signed. It's a long ass line. Hi. Huh? Did you get your book signed? Yes. I did. These are my sisters, Sophie and Ariana. And I just bought them both copies of the book because Amy has a whole lot of great advice. I left mine at home. And she totally called me out on it. We'll be right back with more Funtacular Threadheads. Stick around. Benjamin Park. Sweeney Todd now. I can guarantee the closest shave you will ever know. You're poking the head. My arm is complete again. Rated R this Christmas. Welcome in back. This week we got a letter from Eleanor who writes, I've been looking for DIY fashion magazines. What magazine should I check out? For what little research I've done recently, I've discovered Bust, Fitch, and Ready Made. Are those any good? And are there any great ones out there? Please help me. First off, let's talk about Fitch, a feminist response to pop culture. This is one of my favorite magazines. They don't really have that many DIY projects, but their articles are awesome. Then there's Bust Magazine, and if you haven't made the connection, they put on the Bust Holiday Craftacular. Reference the first half of the episode. So not only do they host an event that supports the DIY movement, but their magazine rocks. They always have projects for you to do, and interviews with amazing women. We're pretty big fans. And Ready Made is one of our all-time favorites. Check out the episode we did a while back featuring the magazine, the founders, and some of the great projects they showcase. Some of our other favorites include Altered Couture, the ultimate guide for artwear enthusiasts, Threads by the Taunton Press, and then there's Adorn, a crafty girl's guide for embellishing life, Vina Zine, whose winter issue has a great spread with Dita Von Teese, one of my personal fashion icons. And last but not least, the brand new Make It Mine magazine has a ton of really cool step-by-step -step projects. This how-to for making decoupage jewelry by Jennifer Perkins of Naughty Secretary Club is our favorite. Alright, and this is the super exciting part. Eleanor, you're going to be getting a copy of every magazine that we just talked about today. And because we're in the holiday spirit, we're going to be giving away to the top five foreign posters. Drum roll, please! In fifth place, with 1,091 posts, is Plasma! Way to go, Plasma! And in fourth place, with 1,304 posts, Brian Moore! And coming in the third place, with 1,499 posts, Coffee! 
In second place with 1,942 posts, Pinoy Blaze. Yeah, Pinoy. With 3,065 posts, our top forum poster, Lady Jane Ryder. Lady Jane Ryder is the Really, we gotta thank everybody on the forums because you guys are just posting and making this awesome community happen, and we're thrilled. You deserve a pat on the back. So on the forums, VJ Baby posted a Threadbangers-inspired version of Here Comes Santa Claus, and we've been asked to sing it. So we're going around the neighborhood, spreading the Threadbanger cheer. We're gonna go knock on this random door here. Here comes Threadbangers, here comes Threadbangers, fixing our wardrobes. Cutting, trimming, sewing, hemming, saving our old clothes. Heads are ringing with the thinking of ideas inside. So grab your needle, grab your thread, cause Threadbangers are tonight. Here comes Threadbangers. We want to invite you to join in on the virtual caroling by uploading videos of your verses. Also, we have a new Threadbanger feature, texting. Get updates on craft events we're going to be at, special Threadheads news, even send questions and comments. To sign up, text THREAD to 30644. Regular texting fees apply. Next week's episode is one for the frickin' history books. We get an interview with Academy Award winning costume designer, Colleen Atwood. You can see her latest work in Tim Burton's new film, Sweeney Todd. You're definitely not going to want to miss it. Till next week. Redheads is brought to you by Sweeney Todd, a Tim Burton film in theaters December 21st.